Wow. who is second place in the point standings behind this man, Roman Krennikov, Adrian Munfeiler in third, Sigurd Thrusterson and Andre Hanen in fourth and fifth. And you know, you can never count out Frederick Ingidius. We talked about it yesterday. He's just that guy that may fly a little bit under the radar and then he makes his move. Gideus finding himself in third place, Lucas Hofer not far behind him. Jorvin Paul Goodmanson doing exactly what he needs to do. At the end of event number three, the star-making weekend of Roman Krennikov <laughs> continues. <laughs> I, think, I don't think I've ever done fish sauce in a five seconds. Isn't that good? You agree? It's like... Easy. Just because I knew about this and know about this behind, behind my back. So uh, I was a little afraid and what happened all in that was not like ideal. What do you feel now? Yes, a little relief. One more event that I'm worried about and let's go back to Mers. You know, like, uh, it feels like you just need the confidence to fall down once to do it better twice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But at home, the boxes or the stairway have been so much harder. So that hurts, you know. That's from home. This is soft, so it's fine. It's good. Like anytime you go into a workout and you you do better than what you what you anticipate, you're gonna come out with a good feeling in your stomach. Uh, and this was definitely one of those. No idea where it like it places me on the leaderboard. Uh, but I gotta like I gotta just be honest. Anything within like a top 15 on a workout like that is is what I can expect and I, I went out there and I did it so I'm super excited about it. Are you serious? Yeah. Fifth? What's that? Yeah. I think he's fifth, yeah, in that event. Yeah. You're faster than everyone. Well else that's really fucking chance. good. Then. Right now, what we're seeing is Christine Holt and Annie Thor's daughter are side by side. The time is 10 52 to beat. She'll cross the line. It's going to be a sixth career event win, unofficially a regional for Kristen Holta. An 18th consecutive top 10 event finish. Why no? Because I had, I, uh, I fell off the handstand a couple of times. Uh, but other than that, I was, I was happy with it. It was just a little more taxing than I thought it was going to be. I think being in this region is the best thing that, like, that an athlete can do because you get pushed in every workout. You know how, where the level is and how much you have to step up your game to be able to compete in, in Madison. How do you prepare for an event? Let's say the next one. How do you, for regional, how do you prepare? First of all, looking at the event, what it is, and then trying to look off the stats and previous experiences that we have. Is anybody going to do really well? And then also, if we've been talking to people in the check-in, going through the warm-up area, maybe talking to coaches, getting a little bit of an idea of who's going to try to make a move, when and where, and then just kind of follow the action. Do you use social media as a preparation? Uh, all the time. A social media junkie, pretty much. Because it's a great way to interact as well. I mean, somebody may post something, you have a question, you start talking back and forth about it. It's just, it's a great way to interact and also keep track of people. This year is the most comfortable regionals for all five years that I here. Yeah. Yes. More experienced? Or? No, 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 only back legs. And nothing where can I stop. Yeah. No strict hand props. No weight waste. Yeah. 
Feeling better. Yeah. How are you gonna attack this one? It's gonna be, it's nasty. It's a nasty one. Yeah, just keep it moving, keep it moving. No stop. Just go, go, go. That's it. I mean, the last two rounds are just go for it. Yeah. Lucas Hogberg, one of the first athletes to break into the first round of 12 bar facing burpees. Frederick Gideas finding himself in the third position here in this heat. He went for singles all the way through that first set. It's Hogberg, Gideas, and Munheiler. Because now we're seeing Andre Ganin. First one onto the burpees. No better time for a second career event victory for Adrian Moonweiler as he will take this one 100 important points and he's going to start closing that window on Roman Krennikov. The tactic was to beat Burpe. The beginning was not so good. The fourth level was on Burpe. The skin was normal, but the part was not good. This one was on the floor. Maybe, maybe I have to change my goal a little bit, like my goal was to come here qualifying, making top three. Who knows, maybe I can go for that win. What is the goal now? Man, still top three, you know, you still two events go, you still can make many mistakes, but I will have maybe one eye on that top space. That is impressive. That is so impressive. But feast your eyes on this. Sprint to the line. We're going to have to wait for the chip timers and give it to Annie Thorstadter. It appears by nine one hundredths of a second. <laughs> that was horrible. There's one more game to go. Still to go. So is the pain worth it? I hope so. so you want to have two more games? Yeah, yeah they're fine. The I like them. Will be traveling. I think uh, first one's going to be. Very uh, leg dominant, and the second one is just like this one. But, uh, this one. Yes. I am. And Annie Thor's daughter will take the win for the first time this weekend, and might find herself atop the leaderboard going into the final event, 13:48. Back on top. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!